As I set out on this three-day float, I asked myself, what would make this a successful trip? The answer was simple, adventure. I didn't care if I caught a ton of fish or shot the biggest buck. I wanted to explore, spend time with close friends, and push myself down through unfamiliar waters. November in the Midwest is a time of year that offers ample opportunities for outdoorsmen in both the woods and on the water. Combining hunting, camping, and fishing all together has been something I've wanted to experience my entire life. So sit back and enjoy this exciting episode as we begin to head downstream to explore unfamiliar waters. It is the opening day of Michigan's firearm deer season, and this is a holiday here in this state. I'm gonna be spending the first day solo, then a little later in the day, I'm gonna meet up with my buddy Jesse, and I think he's gonna join me for a couple days. He's out in the blind this morning. I've heard a few shots around me in the area. This is gonna be an awesome adventure, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Let's go see what this trip has in store. Hunting while on a float trip has always been something that's very intriguing to me. Although I've done a ton of hunting in the past out of blinds and stands, it's not something I'm extremely passionate about. By trying out this new style of hunting, I'm hoping it's something that I'll come to love as I could see it taking us on many great adventures in the future. I am very honored and excited to break in my new rifle, which was handed down to me from my great grandpa. This pump action 30-06 Remington is going to be a perfect gun for this adventure. I am also very excited and thankful to have my stealth craft drift boat, which is going to be a perfect vessel for this adventure. I really couldn't believe it. I was just, I just finished up doing the intro and I heard something walking on top of this ridge and all of a sudden I saw a deer head bobbing down. It looked like a doe, but there was also a couple more deer with it. I couldn't see what they were, but that deer definitely saw me. It didn't run far, it didn't blow at me. It just trotted a little bit back in the woods and I could hear it stop, so he's definitely in the area. I know this river makes a couple bends around here, so I'm gonna finish up getting the boat organized and we're gonna start creeping our way down the river. This is a great start. Well, it is just a picture perfect morning for opening day of deer season. There's a light snowfall coming down right now. We're supposed to get one to three inches of snow today and there's already a nice light dusting of snow on the forest floor. It's chilly, it's overcast, it's perfect conditions for both hunting and fishing. So as I proceed down river, I'm gonna proceed downstream with caution. I'm gonna go slow and try to be as aware as I can as I proceed down river so I don't miss anything. I'm gonna analyze all these dense river bottoms. There are a lot of dense brushy areas in these river bottoms where I'm assuming these deer are gonna be bedded in, especially after the next day or two of opening day when they start to get some pressure. Hopefully after this first day, all the pressure in the surrounding area. It didn't take long to see the first deer of the trip. As I got around the next bend, I saw the same group of three deer, which were a couple one to two year old deer with one doe that was probably a little bit bigger and a little bit older, but being so early into the trip, I decided to let these deer walk and not take a shot. Although I was dreaming of some fresh venison at camp tonight, I couldn't help but smile as I watched these deer walk back into the forest and go about their day definitely could have taken a shot. I had a perfect broadside shot at about 50 yards and they just kind of walked through this tight timber in the swamp here. But I can shoot three deer on this trip. I have my extra doe permit and I also have my combo license. So I have an opportunity to really get some meat on this trip.
there's a really thick river bottom. The river makes a big horseshoe. It's really thick in here. And I can see some rubs and some of these small bushes. So I'm just gonna kind of push this little peninsula and maybe sit on top of this ridge for a little while to see if I can see anything moving down in this river bottom. some very fresh deer tracks in here from the last hour or so. It's snowing hard and we've only had snow for a couple hours. Those tracks are fresh so I think I probably even bumped that deer out of here. Those tracks look like they were made about 10, 20 minutes ago at moment. Although we didn't see any deer there, it was definitely a successful little trip. I learned a lot. I learned a little more how to approach these areas and that there's definitely deer bedded down in some of this thick timber right now. So if I can find another spot like this down river farther, I think I'll have a little bit better idea about how to approach it because I definitely bumped some deer out of there. I just gotta be stealthy, I gotta be aware, and I gotta keep moving down river, but that's a valuable lesson to learn early in the day and something to be aware of as we go down river. So I'm putting together the pieces of the puzzle Hopefully by the end of the day, we'll have something figured out. If not by the end of the day, by the end of the trip, we should have something put together to have some success out here. As I've been floating down river, I've been floating by some really, really fishy water. We just pulled off on a run here and I gotta try to fish this run. It looks so good. We have two and a half more days. We have the rest of today. We have all day tomorrow and all day the next day. And our goal is, is to get a couple of steelhead in the boat and get a deer in this boat before we head back to get some meat in the freezer. We are getting nice and toasty underneath the bridge here. I got the heater going, gonna make some lunch. I am soaking wet from head to toe. The last couple hours, it's been a rain, snow, mix, sleet. We got a couple inches of snow on the ground, but it's been very wet and the temperature's at about 35, so it is very cold as well. This heater feels great. I'm gonna dry off a little bit, get something to eat, and continue our float down river. I'm gonna pick up Jesse in about an hour, a couple miles down river from here, and hopefully we can find a deer yet here this afternoon. You ready to do this? What an adventure it's gonna be. What an adventure this is gonna be. Hip hip. I always wanted to do an adventure like this. My buddy Kyle is the one that wanted to do it. So here we are. Off to the races, Northern Michigan. in here you can see through these cedars pretty good with all that snow on the ground the deer should stick out pretty good should be bedded on some of these points or up feeding right now this time of day hopefully one sticks his head out
Well, that is a wrap for the hunting portion of day one. Although we did not shoot a deer, it was a very productive day. I learned a lot, saw a couple deer first thing this morning, and I'm very excited for tomorrow. Jesse and I are gonna get camp set up here. We got a nice camping spot underneath all these cedars, a nice open area, and hopefully we'll have a little bit better success tomorrow. But what a cool setting this is. Got some snow coming down. I'm, I'm excited. Not a bad November 15th dinner, buddy. I love this kind of stuff. I'd do it every day if I didn't have to work. <laughs> Never camped out on November 15th out in a tent before. Well, I think the afternoon was kind of slow, but I think we'll get down in some different spots tomorrow and hoping maybe the second day of deer season there'll be some people up pushing the deer around a little more. It's supposed to be kind of cold in the morning, so maybe most guys will only sit till about 10 o'clock and they'll get up and take a walk and hopefully push some deer down by the river. We'll see. Second day of deer season, so you never know what can happen. Nice little log to sit on. Heck yeah, dude. Nice, ain't bad. My hands ain't cold now. How bad old is it? There is it. Cold, cold? Uh. Breakfast. It was a very, very pleasant night last night. We did not get cold at all. We had the heater going, we kept it on medium, and it was very pleasant. We were warm, we got camp packed up this morning. Very efficient work having two helpful people here at camp. Now, we just made some coffee, had some of mom's homemade banana nut bread, and we're gonna start making our way down river. We got enough light to see through the woods good, so I am very, very excited for today. I have no idea what this day's gonna have in store, but it's gonna be an awesome adventure. So basically we're floating down the river here this morning <clears throat> trying to find some deer bedded on the side or up feeding along some of these ridges and runways that are along here mixing in and out of the private we got the phone on with the onyx so it let us know where the public land is so we can hunt um, we haven't seen nothing yet, but I'm assuming probably about 9 o'clock when the sun starts warming the, warming everything up, the deer will maybe get up and move or some people will start pushing the deer around. That's our plan, so looks like it's going to be a nice day, so we're just going to keep floating and maybe run into something.
Well, we saw our first deer of the trip back there. We didn't get a clean look at it, so we didn't want to take the shot. It was definitely a doe. We don't mind taking out a doe on this trip as we're just really looking for some meat and we have some doe tags, but we just want to make sure it's a mature deer before we take the shot. So we're going to keep heading down river. It's a great sign. We saw our first deer of the trip, so hopefully that's a sign of good things. Well, isn't that just how things go? We just left a big strip of public land. We literally get 100 yards into private property and see a deer immediately. It was a nice mature doe, and we would have had a great shot at it, but that's just how it goes sometimes. So we got a big stretch of private property coming down through here. So Jesse's on the oars. I'm gonna get out the rod, see if I can do a little boondogging, come down through here and find a cromer. Got the hands ain't cold now, buddy. Oh, it's a nice brownie, guys. Check out this brownie. Nice little river brownie. Get my hand wet. Pretty little brown, guys. That's cool. Nice little fish. Send him on his way. All right, got a brown. What a beautiful day this is. There's just a really nice frost on all the tree branches. Little light dusting of snow on the forest floor. The sun's peeking through. It's just a picture perfect fall day. And we got hot coffee. see it guys I didn't even get a look at it I just heard it just bust up out of this brush man I had a good feeling about this spot too gosh couldn't even see it though I'm going right, yeah. Well, as you can see, the snow has started once again. The whiteout is returning, and we have not seen a deer in several miles now. We've been going through some great stretches of public land, lots of good looking terrain, thick river bottoms, and just haven't kicked out any deer or seen any deer. So hopefully the last few miles of this float here this afternoon, we'll have another chance to be able to make something happen, but it's, uh, it's really starting to come down. I've also been boondogging a lot of these runs, haven't hit any steelhead as well. So it's been a very relaxing, very fun day, but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't ready to catch a steelhead or see a deer right now. <laughs> Didn't seem like it was gonna be that bad at, at first. Fish, got him, got him. That's good. It's been so long. <laughs> It's been so long since I've hooked a fish. Oh, it's just a little steely, but that's okay. That's a good start. 
All right, well, that's a start, guys. That is a start. A nice super skipper sized steelhead to start the trip. I think our luck's turning around though, guys. We're gonna get them back. We just pulled off into this little middle of the river run and that was first cast through there. So let's see if there's another fish in there, but good start. We gotta walk before we can run. Well, as you can see, the snow has begun yet again and we are dragging the boat. Always an adventure, yeah. We took a wrong turn. We tried to stay on the public land. We went down a smaller branch and that branch just petered out into a bunch of smaller branches and we couldn't even pass through it. So we've had to drag the boat back up river a little ways. We were trying to stay on public land, but that's how it goes. It's always an adventure. Our plan was, was to camp out another night and continue this float down river, but just by the lack of deer we've seen, I think we're gonna pull the boat out and relocate, either go down river, up river farther to a different river maybe. I'm not really sure yet, but we definitely had to figure something out because one, the fishing's not in here, and two, we haven't been seeing any deer for hours now. Fish, fish, fish. Oh, nice one, baby. Nice one. Right, right at the end of the day, and it's whooping my butt down into some wood, guys. Trying to back or Oh, it's just thrashing. Oh, he's, dude, he's in the wall. He's in the log jam. Ah. I could not believe it, guys. My bobber just drained. Oh, and he's just thrashing. Oh, he's. Oh, oh my goodness. I can't believe that fish didn't get me in the wood right there. I cannot believe that. Oh, it's been so long since I've hooked a fish, guys. I mean, I've been booning a lot of water today and I have not hit a single adult till this one. And he's just whooping my butt, dude. He's down in front of a log. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, oh guys. Oh my gosh. He's trying to get me out of the log. <laughs> Come back. Down here in who knows where in the swamp. Just down here right in the middle of the swamp in the fingers of the river. Just looks like total no man's land. Haven't seen another person in forever. And finally, finally, finally got a fish on. Oh man, is that a pretty. <laughs> <laughs> First time that is. Got him, guys. Nice job, buddy. Well, that might not be the buck we're looking for, guys, but after the hard day that we had, we'll definitely take him. That is a beautiful fish, and I'm happy to have him. I'm going to get him right back in the water. Nice wild male. What a great end to the day. Wow. What, what a beautiful fish, man. That is just a beautiful fish. And there he goes back to his home. We got a fish here today, guys. We finally got a fish on this trip or a deer. We finally got a buck in the boat. That's, I mean, that's about all I can ask for late in the day. I mean, we're down to the final hour of our float trip. We're down to the last couple miles and we finally just caught a steelhead. I haven't been fishing too hard today. I've just been booning through some stuff quick, but we went through a lot of dead water where there were no holes at all. And we had to go many, many miles before we found some good holes. We got lost down a finger of the river, back onto the river. And honestly, I was pretty much losing hope. So that feels really good to caught that fish. And uh, yeah, I think our luck's gonna turn around here yet this trip. Gosh, I don't even remember where I hooked this fish. It was somewhere up underneath these trees, somewhere in this little slot here. I'm not really sure. That was an intense fight though. Wow, I got my blood pumping. Might get into a couple late here in the day yet, brother. Wow. Does this hole look good? I got stuff all over the boat. I'm gonna stand up on the fly bridge. I'll get up on the seat here. This looks like a snag. No way. It's a snag, guys. Fish. 
fish, fish, fish. Got him, guys. I thought I was bottom. There we go, baby. <laughs> Getting into some chrome here late in the day on the bead, guys. I just switched up to a bead, a big gumball bead. We got bit. <laughs> we got bit. <laughs> oh, I'm trying not to be too loud. Gosh, I gotta control my excitement here. I'm trying not to be too loud, so because we're still hunting, still on the hopes of seeing a deer he got here this afternoon. Let's see what we got here, guys. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I got 12 pound on. Oh, got her, baby, got her. Nice, nice hen on the bead. Is it a male? Wow, it is a nice male. Guys, I thought that was bottom when it went down my float, like went down sideways. And we got one, baby. Beautiful colors on that fish. We're gonna get them right back in the water here. Oh. Man, he was ready to go back. Guys, we we're making it happen. <laughs> Kyle can't hold his excitement back. I'm trying not to get too excited. I'm trying not to get too excited here because we are still hunting. Guys, we have worked so hard today. I would say we've traveled about 14 or 15 miles downriver today. It'll be interesting to see at the end of the day how far we really have gone. But finally, we're getting some fish in the boat. Didn't really run into as many deer as I thought we were gonna see. Honestly, seen some pretty decent deer sign in certain spots along the river, but it's kind of crazy for the second day of rifle season. I haven't heard a shot just till about 45 minutes ago, and we went all day without hearing any shots, so it don't seem like there's a lot of people out or not a lot of pressure to push these deer down in these small bottoms. Kyle got to catch a couple steel up today, so we're going to go concentrate on deer hunting tomorrow. Well, that was an adventure to say the least. I would say today we covered around 15 miles of river. Yesterday I did about nine miles by myself, so we definitely covered some water in the last two days. Our original plan was to keep moving downstream and camp out another night, but from the lack of deer activity we've seen the last two days, we're deciding to pull the boat out. We are gonna pull the boat out, head to a new section of river, or even maybe a different river, but from the lack of deer activity we saw the last two days, we just weren't feeling comfortable going down river any farther and having some success. We only saw one deer today on public land and we weren't sure if it was a mature deer or not so we didn't take a shot we saw a couple others on private grounds but that's the way it seems to usually go at least we had a little success and we were able to catch a couple of steelhead so we crossed that off the bucket list we got to see a lot of new river today fished a lot of new river today so mission accomplished there hopefully tomorrow we'll have a little bit more success in getting a dang deer down Good morning and welcome back to day three. This is the third and final day of this adventure, so hopefully we can get it done. We got Tom out here with us today. You guys have seen him in past videos. So we have three people on today's trip. We went to a different section of river, so hopefully we can get it done. We'll see what this day has in store. I think I got him. <laughs> that didn't take long, baby. I'm pretty sure I smoked her. <laughs> what a great start to this trip. Just kicked up a few deer. They were definitely some good sized doe. So this is awesome. Hopefully we can get one in the boat and we'll have a start at some meat. Oh yeah. Guys, we got some blood right over here. Some good blood. This is where I hit my deer. Oh, I got some blood right here, guys. This is exactly where my deer was when I hit her and she came right through here. She's bleeding pretty good, guys. Check out all this blood. I think I made a really good shot. We'll see. Oh man, she sprayed the tree. She sprayed the tree. Oh shit. We 
We got her, baby. We got her, guys. We got her. Nice dough. We got one. We got one. We got one. We got one. Day three. 15 minutes into the day. Jumped up a bunch of deer. And we were able to put this dough down, baby. Well, first thing we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna get her tagged. We're gonna get her, I'm gonna get my doe permit out here. I got an extra doe permit, so I'm gonna use that up on this deer. Antlerless deer, this is my doe permit here. I'm gonna get this tag on her. We got some meat in the boat. We got some meat in the boat, and that was my main concern. I just really wanted to get some meat, and that's, as a hunter to me, that's what it's all about. The adventure and bringing meat back home to share with your loved ones, with your family. Just good, clean meat right out of the wild here, and I am so thankful to have harvested this deer. We're gonna get her gutted. We're gonna get her tagged first. We're gonna get her tagged first. We're gonna get her gutted, get her in the boat, and continue our float down river, but what a start to day three. Now, let's see if we can get a buck. Just eat. You saw it too? So we've seen a deer, we're coming down the river, and i seen one standing off here. Come to find out, I walked up in here and it was bedded right here alongside the river. It must have heard the boat coming down, bouncing off the rocks, and it got up and started walking the other way. I just got a couple glimpses of it, and it was headed up the ridge, so we're gonna keep floating down and see if we can find another one. Okay. We'll be doing some walking, that's what I think. We'll push this bowls and we'll go down and just start hopping out and walking some bowls down. Don't get off to the river till dark, oh well. <laughs> pretty, pretty nice weather out here. The great white north. You can really see through my scope. <laughs> pretty sweet. No. 
dropped Jesse off a couple bends up the river and we came on the other side of this big ridge where there's a little gap that we're hoping the deer will follow through as they run out of this river bottom. Jesse's gonna push this thick timber in here and hopefully some deer will squirt out of there for us. single tracks in row by itself. Yep, he started walking right, dude. But hey, I couldn't see how big it was, and I couldn't get a clean shot. He just he veered off in that really thick shit, and you he just went right back down in there. Huh? He went right back down in there. I'm guaranteed because that's not that wide across there. Dude, I heard him go this way, right along the ridge, this way. It was definitely a nice little rack buck. Dude, he was moving, and then he stood right behind a tree. Like his front, whole front area was right behind a tree, and I could see his rack on the other side of the tree. And oh, then, man. dude, I, I had my gun up on him, but I couldn't see his rack. But then he started, he trotted a little ways, and he went that way. Yeah. Having a chance at a buck and not taking a shot was definitely eating at me. I couldn't help but have thoughts of regret and thinking what could I have done differently. But at the end of the day, I would much rather know that deer is still healthy and well as opposed to taking an iffy shot and potentially wounding this deer or killing a deer I wasn't comfortable with harvesting. Every hunter has encountered a situation similar to this in the past and there will be plenty more of them to come in the future. As tough of a pill as this is to swallow, I look back and am thankful I didn't take a shot that I wasn't confident with. The only thing there was left to do was hop back in the boat and head downstream to look for the next opportunity. I didn't even see the fear. Well guys, as we were oaring back, we jumped a couple deer off the riverbed, had a big buck, Jesse had a shot at him, but he does not have a buck tag, so we did not get a shot off at the buck. Tommy didn't see the buck, but he saw a nice doe, he took a shot, and we we're going to see if we can track this deer and find this deer here. Late in the day, guys, we're having a little success. We're chomping through the cattails, seeing a few deer here. Oh yeah. Man, that snow is just coming down, ain't it? Well, we didn't get the buck, but I ended up getting a doe. Uh, oh, I was looking on the other side of the boat as we were coming down, and I heard Jesse yell, big buck, big buck, and I look over, and the buck took off. I'd never seen the buck, but I seen the doe standing back there, so I took the shot, and turned out pretty well. I got her, so. The guy with no buck tag sees the buck. Oh, that's a, that's the son of a gun right there, but. It happens, man. Tommy happened to be looking on the other side of the river. I was looking on the, he was looking on the right, I was looking on the left. The buck was on the left with the doe. And, yeah, broadside at 20 yards and couldn't shoot the damn thing. But I thought he was going to see it 
and then it hopped back in the brush and the doe come running out. It was kind of pandemonium there for about 10 seconds. Yeah, it was a really nice, probably 15, 16 inch eight point, but nice tall, real dark chocolate horn buck, big body deer too. Well, oh well. Can't get them all, but we got two. That's right. <laughs> Although we didn't get a buck down on this trip, I couldn't have asked for a better adventure with a couple great friends. The season is early and we'll have plenty of time over the next few weeks to make it happen. We worked hard, covered a ton of river miles, and learned a lot about float hunting the last three days. The landed steelhead and freezer full of meat we'll be bringing home is just a bonus. Thanks so much for tuning in this week everyone, and if you enjoyed this style of hunting and fishing video, then make sure to let us know in the comments as we plan to do many more of this style adventure in the future.